assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to lecture 4 up till now we have studied the basic modeling and the basic analysis and design of this shed uh, what we observed in the last lecture is that these members are actually underutilized uh, so we are going to optimize them in today's lecture and also see some uh, more parameters which we need to include in our design so before going into that uh, uh, we will first clarify one thing here which is actually the unbraced length ratios so let's consider I have a simply supported beam and if I draw the section this is actually an I beam and most of you must know that in I beam the bending around this axis is the major bending and the bending around vertical axis is minor bending so uh, and there is also a third axis which is along the member in this direction let's call it z axis the bending or the rotation along z axis is considered as torsion so I'm sure you must be aware of these parameters now let's get to uh, our main topic which is the unbraced length ratio as clear by the name the unbraced length is actually the unsupported length of the member let's assume this member has a length of 10 meter and it is supported at two points which is at this point and this second point let's call them point A and point B now the complete length is unsupported from this point to this point so the unbraced length ratio will be equal to 10 meter divided by 10 meter which is equal to 1 so now what happens is if I add some bracing member in this vertical direction let me change the color so it is visible to you let's say I am adding one bracing member in the vertical direction which means I am adding it in the major bending direction let's say this is our member now if the distance between these supports is let's say 5 meter and 5 meter now in this case the unbraced length ratio for major bending will be equal to 5 meter divided by 10 meter which is equal to 0 0.5 similarly if I add one more member or if I divide it in three equal parts or let's say if the complete member length is 10 meter but my division is 4 meter 3 meter and 3 meter now in this case the unbraced length ratio will be equal to we will see the largest unsupported length of the member now in this case it is 4 meter so it will be 4 divided by complete length the unbraced length ratio will be 0 0.4 I hope now you are clear about the unbraced length ratio concept similarly if our bracing is in the minor direction let's say I am adding my bracing in this direction uh, I am actually talking about into the plane of this beam I am adding one member and bracing it at these points now the same concept applies here as well if the distance is 5 meter for minor bending now the unbraced length ratio for the minor axis will be equal to 5 divided by 10.5 similarly if I consider the second example where 5 meter 3 meter and 2 meter uh, then in this case again the unbraced length ratio is always actually the largest unsupported length of the member divided by the total length of the member 
so again the unbrushed length ratio will be equal to 0.5 in this case well, i hope you are clear about this concept now let's go to our sap model and see what it actually does in this case now sap 2000 actually calculates the unbraced length ratios of these members automatically to check the values i will just press control shift f5 and go to design input and see the unbraced length ratios of my members i will click on okay now here you can see for the main beams it is showing as 1 then comma and 0.1 the first value is representing the bending or the unsupported length in the major axis the second value is representing the unsupported length in the minor axis direction or in the minor bending now the first value is actually okay it's all right since our main beam is supported at the end points only which is at this point and this point so the complete length is unsupported in the vertical direction you can see there is no vertical member here or at the top so complete length is unsupported and this factor is calculated correctly by sap which is 1 as mentioned in this case 10 divided by 10 1 similarly it is calculating 10 divided by 10 which is equal to 1 now for minor bending what sap is actually doing it is calculating by considering these purlins as well we can see that our member is divided into 10 equal parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 each having a span of 1 meter so in this case each having a length of 1 meter in this case 1 meter is the maximum unsupported length and total length is 10 meter so unsupported or unbraced length becomes 1 divided by 10 which is equal to 0.1 and this is in the minor bending direction if i turn on my 3d view by pressing control w and go to extrude now you can see the minor bending is along this direction now actually the purlins will in the real scenario the purlins will not provide bracing to the main beams because purlins will be resting above the main beams and it will not provide any bracing or any bending resistance in the minor direction so this structure as per the model the unbraced length ratio should be equal to 1 for these beams now this is a very important point uh, if we are modeling it in the wrong way or we are assigning the wrong unbraced length ratios then the utilization ratios will come out to be wrong and i will change the unbraced length ratios of these beams i will unlock my model then i'll select the main beams to change the unbraced length ratios you need to go to design steel frame design and view revise overrides this is the second option now we already know the unbraced length ratio for major was calculated correctly so i don't need to change this one this is actually program determined similarly the unbraced length ratio for minor axis and for torsion axis was uh, calculated as 0.1 which was wrong because there is no main beam or tie beam between the length of the member so i need to change this value to manual and i will just input as 1 i'll click on okay now let's check our design again what difference it brings shift f5 for design check yes now you can see uh, the edge beams are passing but the main beam the center beams are now failing they were previously i think 47% utilized now to check the utilization press control shift f5 and click on okay 
now they are 101.4 percent utilized which means they are exceeding the capacity so we need to revise these beam sections now there are two scenarios we can either uh, add a tie beam in the center and reduce the unbraced length ratio to 0.5 or we can increase or use the next uh, uh, member section so the capacity of that section is increased and in that case we will not be needing any tie beams in this direction so and uh, similarly for columns the unbraced length ratios for columns are calculated correctly these are all one one in both directions so these are correct i do not need to change any other parameter now so we are going to keep them as it is but since the utilization of my columns is pretty low you can see they are only 15 percent utilized or even the edge columns are seven percent utilized so what i need to do is i can reduce my column section for now the column section is uh, uc3053051 i can reduce them now to optimize the column sections and to increase the beam sections i will just unlock my model go to define section properties frame sections and here i will just import some new properties i sections i will go to bs shapes pro select 275 steel now for beam sections i am going to select uh, a little higher section with uh, some greater capacity let's say 305 165 46 was the previous one now i'm going to select the next bigger section available which is ub305 by 165 by 54 so let's import this section click on ok now for column i will again import new property and go to uc sections and import uc203 by 203 by 52 change material from this drop down menu click on ok ok and now let's assign the newly defined sections to our model so i will just select all my main beams click on assign frame frame sections go to uh, this click on this one click on apply now my member section is changed for columns let's select all the columns and assign this new section uc203 and for the tie beams as well let's reduce this section as well i'll go to define frame sections import new property s275 and uh, i'll keep it just minimum ub203 10223 i think this is going to work so let's change the color select all the tie beams assign frame frame section and select and click on apply now my member sections have been changed let's again analyze the model and run the design shift f5 for design and control shift f5 to display the utilization ratios uh, okay now uh, the edge beams are 49 percent utilized and the main beams are uh, 97 percent utilized and columns are 47 point uh, two percent utilized so i think this is now pretty okay the columns are optimized and even the main beams are pretty much optimized so i hope you are now clear that how the unbraced length ratio is calculated in sap and how we can manually uh, change the unbraced length ratios
this is an important parameter which needs to be uh, checked before design because uh, there is a major difference in the utilization ratios if we change the unbraced length ratio so that is all for today uh, inshallah see you all in the next lecture where we are going to discuss the design of purlins uh, okay take care and allah hafiz